Or men, I guess. There isn't much she can offer the old man, but she heats him some water. The pipes creak and howl ominously as she fills the pot. Been like this for a while, they definitely have to get someone to take a look soon. Ah. Um, here you go. Sorry it's not coffee. This is insane. Hot water, bro. <laughs> Just hot water <laughs> and the pipes are creaking the whole time. Like that's not even a crazy. yeah. Not even a tea bag, just <laughs> nigga. I don't got even Bro, tea. Bro, you can't afford it. <laughs> nigga, you can't afford tea. You just go outside and get some herbs, my guy. <laughs> oh, damn, brother, broke. Noel is ashamed, but Master Utilainen doesn't seem the least bit bothered. Thank you. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna take pity for her and take her as a as his apprentice. Hopefully, bro. Someone's gotta help that girl. Yeah, yeah she's cooked. <laughs> he takes a sip of the water. I thought about your snowflakes. I ain't never seen something so shit in my life. <laughs> no, no, no. Yesterday, I said two harsh things. Yeah, well... Your snowflakes are very ugly. <laughs> but I can help. Huh? Yeah, give her some help. <gasps> Do you want to be an apprentice? Noelle almost chokes on her water. Did she hear that right? Her? An apprentice? Then her and Ivy could keep making snowflakes together, like they've always talked about. But wait... There was an issue with that too. Two. Really? I'm I'm so honored. But I can't leave my mother here alone. Not to even mention she can't afford to move elsewhere. Why you think you must leave? I came over here. Set up a workshop and everything. All ready for our apprentice. Hope and excitement creeps into Noelle's heart. Is this really happening? Master Utilainen looks around the house. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay Bro. Wait, look at his face! <laughs> Dude, this is the first time I've seen his eyes, I think, or like whatever. Dude, it's like, that's insane. Yeah. This is the first time he's, he's seen a broke people's house, man. <laughs> he's cringing, dude. Look at him. He's like, damn, these guys are broke. Nah, your house sucks. It suck, though. It suck. Whatever. No, you suck. Your house is suck. <laughs> no tact. It wasn't meant as an insult. He just completely lacks tact. Snowflake making just. Making a steady job, even as a prince. You can work and learn. Now say yes or no, I won't ask again. Damn. Yes. Good. Then tomorrow, first thing at morning. You know where the workshops are. Yes, I'll be there. Thank you so much. No need for thanks. You work hard. As soon as Master Utilainen has left, Mom shows up, squealing and clapping her hands together in excitement. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Noel, you're amazing. Someone was eavesdropping, I see. Oh, sweetie, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Go on, say it. Anything you want. I'll get it for dinner tonight. <laughs> Already blowing my money, are we? Damn, straight to the point. Don't be ridiculous. This is worth celebrating. My, the first ever snowflake maker in our family. My daughter. <laughs> I've got to go tell Ivy. Noel quickly finishes fixing up her brother's socks and dashes out the door. Ivy's father lets her in the house. Good, you're here. Oh, he's sad. He looks mighty serious today. Ivy is in her room. Oh, is she like not accepted? <gasps> no. Ivy, I have some incredible news. The room is oddly quiet. Ivy too. She isn't doodling new designs or scaring, uh, or scurrying about as usual. What's up? Her voice is joyless. Noelle's mood drops like a boulder off a cliff. Everything okay? I don't know. What's wrong? That stupid old coot rejected me. Can you believe it? <gasps> no. Right then and there, Noelle's world stopped for a brief moment. Oh my god. Dude, because they both know she's worse than Ivy. Like, what is Ivy going to think that she got accepted? Yeah. Maybe, okay, the thing is, right? I feel like she doesn't, like, I feel like it's more like she's already perfect. Like, what else does he need to teach her? You know, type shit. Yeah. It's like the point of having an apprentice, right? Is somebody you can teach. But if it's like, if someone's doing so well, you don't need to teach them. You're like, bro, like, I could literally make you from as amazing as you are to slightly better than that. <laughs> Why don't I get somebody who's completely dog shit and bring them up to your level? You know, I feel, like, is I feel like he also felt bad for her because like he looked around her house and like you know she broke his shoulder, and then he knows that she's literally handing out advertisements to make a living. Yeah, he probably took pity on her. I don't understand. 
him. Me neither. What's wrong with the ma with that master? I'm beyond qualified to be an apprentice. That could just be the thing that you're just beyond qualified. Just too good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ivy, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe that new design was too wild, but I thought he liked it. <laughs> Damn. Screw this. Ivy throws a bunch of her sketches into the trash. Don't. Good. Clearly not. The corner of Ivy's eyes glimmer as she starts ripping through her sketchbooks. Damn. Bro. All Noelle can do is stop. All, uh, all Noelle can do to stop Ivy is to hug her, which she does. Ivy shakes but won't cry. She's been humiliating enough. Humiliated enough. Crying would mean defeat. A few moments pass. What news did you have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, she's not going to tell her. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, what um, the segment? <laughs> um, what? Uh, would you guys tell your friend at this moment? Fuck no. <laughs> I, I'd literally wait like a good like few days, you know? Yeah. I don't know. No, actually, I probably would just never tell him, you know? Like, <laughs> I just wouldn't, like, you know, like, how am I supposed to say someone who's unqualified as me got accepted to be an apprentice who's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd just be like, I'd just be like, fuck, I don't, I don't know, like, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would tell like, him. like, if I know I'm dog shit, right? Yeah. And then my friend really wanted it, and, like, they're really fucking good. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I would tell them that. I'd probably, like, I probably would tell them, but I'd wait a little bit. Yeah. Or, like, maybe I'd just rip off the band-aid and be like, okay, I know. It's just, like, immediately after they get rejected. <laughs> just be like, rejected. Oh, shit, well, I got accepted. <laughs> shit sucks, but, like, you know. Wait, yeah, that's what I would do. Because, like, I feel like it would make them feel better, you know? Like, if they think I fucking suck, which I do. And I'm like, well, you know, if it makes you feel better, like, I got in. So clearly, like... No, you know, that clearly... Yeah, no, but then that means that, oh, are you trying to be like, oh, see, that guy's retarded. He just <laughs> lets shit people in. Is that what you're going for? Like, I, maybe that might work, but... I mean, yeah, I, like... I mean, if it'll make my friend feel better. I mean, it's a win-win, you know? My friend feels better and I'm getting the opportunity, you know? No. Me? Uh, that's insane. Fuck, you know? Yeah. And now she doesn't want to tell her. Look at that. You said you had some good news. Mm. Well. Fuck. Oh, wait, wait, no. wait, wait. I didn't know there was choices. This is Let's really good. Nah. No, 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 no. Oh, if we tell her. Fuck, okay, okay. Let's see the bad routes, right? You tell her. You keep it to yourself. No, 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 no. Yeah, keeping it to yourself might be the worst option to do. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we might actually just straight up tell her. You guys think we should tell her? Uh, I th let's, uh... let's think about it. Let's think about it. Because the mood she's in right now, Ivy is, is clearly upset, right? Yeah. She's very clearly upset. Like, she's insulting the old man. And because the thing is, we don't really know her, like, a actual honest opinion on the well snowflakes, right? Yeah. Because, like, obviously, N Noel knows, like, she's dog shit, right? Yeah, she she probably wanted because like what I get for off of Ivy, right? Mm -hmm. Is that she wanted Ivy to show her snowflakes yeah. so that he could look at her I at a uh, Noel snowflakes in and then be like you, nah, in comparison no and be like that's some snake yeah. shit. You think so? Yeah, that's yeah, but she looks like a snake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't know what I'm saying. It's like so <laughs> he, she wanted Noel to go so that Utilena could see. How much better hers are than Noelle's. Yeah, pretty much. That's valid. I can see that being the truth. But I could also see Ivy literally just being a good friend. And being like, oh, come with me. I, I get to, we, we just don't know enough about her. True. Yeah. But like, yeah. I'm gonna go, if Ivy's go. a good friend, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna be hurt. But she'll be like, you know what? Like, like she's been trying to, like, help her out, you know? Uh -huh. And if she yeah. really does have her best interest in mind, she'll be like, you know what? Like, I'll help you out. You know, like, I'll also help you or whatever. I'll support you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or this could just be one of those things where it's like you're cooked either way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're cooked either way. You like, you know. I I, I vote for uh, telling her. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're telling her then. Yep, I think we're all telling her. All right, let's go. This isn't really the best time. I'll tell you later. I could really use something positive right now, though. Yeah, not this pot type of positive. Noelle felt, uh, Noelle felt strangely nervous, like she had been caught doing something bad. But this is something that is going to have to be addressed sooner or later. It's better to get it out of the way. Being secretive 
was only going to make things more difficult. Well, I have no idea why, but Master Utilainen asked me to be his apprentice. I like how she like softened the blow before saying it. Yeah, that's good. And I uh, said yes. Huh. Hold on, give me a second. Oh my god, why are you waiting, man? I'm waiting for the answer or the reply, and <laughs> then you just like... I was checking something on my phone, okay, here, here. Oh my go god, on. like, hedging me on for no reason. <laughs> the silence was expected. <gasps> oh no! The disgust on Ivy's face wasn't. That's insane. Confusion or anger, maybe. But disgust? Sorry. <laughs> Bro, I feel so bad for her. This girl can't catch a fucking break. No. It's not your fault. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew she was a snake. No, I should have waited to tell you some other time. Oh. Oh! Oh! <gasps> That's what you're sorry about? What? Huh? Oh. Sounds like you intend to take the offer. Oh. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh! Noelle, how could you do this? Wait, what the fuck? Nigga, I knew she was a snake. That sucks so bad. You know, I was really hoping... I was really hoping that she wouldn't be the snake, you know? Uh -huh. I thought she was gonna be like... I was like, I was hoping I was wrong. That she'd be happy that her friend is doing well. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. But to be this much bitch, man. I knew it. I knew it. She was a villain. I knew it, man. <laughs> I knew it. You know, it's like, it sucks when it's those type of people, your best friends, that like, just can't be happy it for your like success. like her only friend, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize Noah's face. Yeah, like, how are you going to shout at her? It's not like it's her fault. Like, such a shit friend, man. I obviously thought you were an apprentice, too. I thought, I thought it was both of us, like, we were hoping for. <sighs> oh, shit. How the <gasps> fuck did you get accepted and I didn't? Oh my god. <gasps> did you offer him something? Huh? Oh yeah, wow. that's, 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 fuck that's me. a that's crazy accusation. That's she's actually disgusting crazy for saying that. <laughs> she's wow. Just think about it, like what could Noel offer? Noel's broke as shit. Like <laughs> clearly she's insinuating yeah, something here. Yeah, that's insane. What kind oh, of person? Oh, that's true. Damn. Oh, shit. <gasps> A little. I, oh. Fuck, man. That's so bad. Oh, no. Ivy's A little to the favor, maybe? Oh, my God. That's not it at all. Do you really think that I would ever? That's well, insane. Like, oh, dude, this is. Is Ivy a fake friend, guys? Yeah. Yes, are you asking that question? <laughs> Don't ask that question. You know the answer to. That's no, such a. She's in a high emotional state right now. You know. I don't give a fuck. Nah, bro. But that insinuating that about your best friend. That's insane. <laughs> oh shit. shit! Screw you, Noel. Get out. Bro, it's like that when um Get the video. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so insane. And look, she's firing back. Why? Why are you angry at me? It's not my fault you flunked, is it? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ivy holds up a sketchbook, threatening to throw it at Noel, so she leaves. I feel like Ivy's one of those girls that just can't fight. Can't fight. You think like so? that's why she was gonna throw a notebook, you know, instead of throwing hands. Such a toxic bitch, man. I'm actually kind of mad at her, yo. <laughs> Like, who uh, says I, I something that we want? her saying that in the heat of the moment. I can also see that. Dude. L dude. What do you mean in the heat of the moment, the bro? The I don't moment. think you... Bell, I, I have heard you and, and, and the thugs argue, okay? I've heard worse than what, what, what I've There's said. a difference. There's, There's a, a difference, difference right? Yeah. There's a difference. What? When it comes to... This is, like, in terms of somebody's success, right? Uh -huh. When they're just, like, saying... How when it's the heat of the moment, there's build up. Someone's calling someone the slurs or whatever. You know, <laughs> there's a reason why we've said like such wild things to each other because it started off as just insults, you know. Yeah. But this is good news that you gave to a friend, and then she's like being toxic as fuck. Emotions are quote unquote high, but like you should be like my friend is, like my friend is getting out of a shit situation in life. Why am I not supporting them? You know, 
Like also like going straight know, away to like insinuating that like she offered yeah, an the, old man like a favor. That's crazy. Yeah, that's exactly. insane. Like she literally. Oh my god! Imagine like imagine if you didn't graduate high school and you found out I graduated, <laughs> and then you were like, you were like, fuck you, you stupid idiot, or you got held back and like, you say shit like that, you know? Uh -huh. Or it's like it's like me getting mad at Hanok for like graduating college, you know? Uh -huh. And then like on his graduation day, I just say like, oh. You cheated on all your tests, you're fake, and then you were like, you were throwing ass, or you were getting, and you were sucking up all your teachers, degree, all your grades, and <laughs> shit like that. Like, that'd be insane. That'd be insane. You know? God, it's insane. You know what? Even if this is, like, in the heat of the moment, and then later on she comes back and she apologizes, we don't Fuck. fucking forgive her. Ooh, no, it's, okay. it's not allowed to be forgiven. You stay that away. That's not fucking like no. It it mm -mm. it's not acceptable. Was it yeah, you keep shit like that? Where she was like uh like offering favors? That accusation? That is that made it, yes. Like, no, point of no return. Yeah. That's yeah. just wild. When you say that your friend is so oh bro, dude, that's so bad. I don't think you understand. You keep yeah. bitches like that out of your life, my nigga. Yeah. Okay. Looks like no more friends you know what for they Noel. Say, Mejor sola que mal acompañada, and that's that's fucking facts. That's that's facts. Oh my god, what is his father? What is her father gonna say? What is this DEI driver? Get that out, please. I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> obviously I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> <Nothing> <laughs> <than anything. laughs> it, it was like my food, and I got mad because it was supposed to be right now, but he's taking an extra 14 minutes. That made pissed me off just now. So I just took a look at that, and I'm like, DEI and as a fucking delivery food driver. That's not even possible. Uh, well, the reason why people say DEI is in I, terms I know, of like, but like, like yeah, you're hiring for diversity. Too much, you know. You know, and I'm like, and that's why I'm saying like, they just let anyone just be a delivery driver, even the dumb, the dumbasses, you know, the ones that can't even just get a pizza and they'll drop it off somebody's house. Well, I'm pretty sure those are the only people that want to be delivery drivers. True. Well, if I was a delivery driver, I'd take a slice of pizza every box. What's with the yelling? Is everything okay? Ivy slams her door shut, locking, locking herself in her room. Probably not. Ugh. Don't take it personally. You know how much that apprenticeship means to her. Mentor. Ment? Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. I thought she'd feel better with you here, since you both got rejected. Oh, no. I wasn't rejected. Wait, what if he turns on her, too? She. Oh, and he doesn't say anything? She puts on her shoes and leaves Ivy's father to process what he just heard. Yeah, that's insane. Fuck both of them. The, the, the dad didn't do anything. <laughs> he just said no, that. No, 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 no. That nigga all, like, automatically assumed that she got rejected. Type shit, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Here about, like, like, from what we heard. Yeah, like, even if, like, the bro, even then, fuck that nigga. Like, no, <laughs> don't be him. like, fuck him for no reason. Just fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck <laughs> him. Fuck <laughs> everyone that didn't believe in you. <laughs> even if I was shit. When she returns home, mom has roasted them a whole chicken, and the potatoes even have butter on them. Damn, they're broke. One chicken for, for a uh, fucking seven people, maybe eight if there's yeah. a dad. There's well, clearly no dad. Say something like that, but I was gonna say that the mom probably had to do some of those favors to get a chicken and butter. Oh, that's that's insane. You're no different than her fucking that's friend. <laughs> no, bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. That is crazy. The potatoes but if you think about it, like, you know, like she's so surprised because they have a chicken, you know, a whole chicken, <laughs> not just a piece. Oh, dude, I feel bad for Noelle. This is terrible. Everyone is happy and proud of Noelle. And her younger siblings all get their stomachs full for once. For once. See what I mean? Damn. For once. Hey, they just fast and they're dieting, bro. Oh, yeah, they're dieting. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> just seeing everyone in high in such high spirits makes Noelle wish. Oh, but I'm fucking butchering this shit. Just seeing everyone in such high spirits makes Noelle forget her worries for a bit. Yes, she's doing the right thing by becoming an apprentice, she tells herself. You are. Don't Ivy question it. always find something else to do with herself. Ivy has to look out for her own for once. Even though Ivy's family had been so supportive and kind to her, suddenly she feels guilty again and shoves a piece of chicken in her mouth to forget all about it. It tasted bitter. <gasps> She's feeling bad. Don't feel bad. What is this? Oh, is this a Utilainen's fucking office? It's a brand new day. Mm. Noelle has arrived to master Utilainen's workshop first thing in the morning, as promised. Good morning. Uh, good morning. 
Tomorrow. Good tomorrow. What the fuck? <laughs> good tomorrow. Ooh. Ugh. No, mate, morning. You don't say that, huh? Morning. See those clouds on the floor? On the floor sat some flat clouds, barely hovering off the ground. Both do this week. We fill them up with snowflakes today. Not with my snowflakes, I hope. Yours, of course. Now come watch. I teach you to make some good snowflakes. Utilanen gestures, gestures Noel towards a humongous snowflake. It almost looks like a small tree. That's one snowflake? Mass production. See the branches. From the edges of the snowflake start growing more snowflakes at you, as Utilanen conjures them up. They drift gently downwards and land on top of a cloud where they disappear into. The cloud gets a little fluffier. Simple process. This mate, this snowflake design is simple also. I've made both very simple for you. Because you're simple also, eh? <laughs> He's jokingly nudging Noel's shoulder. See if you made it simple enough. Now see here. Back also. Master, so Master shows Noel how exactly he conjures up the snowflake. It's the exact opposite way Ivy always taught her. <gasps> She couldn't have taught me wrong on purpose, could she? Oh, that's insane. That. Wait, maybe? Maybe she did. That's insane. I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe? But she soon shakes the thought away. No, no. She wanted us both to become apprentices. Why would she sabotage that? Did you understand? Noelle tries. And after some figuring out, gets a few snowflakes forming on some of the branches. You know, it really is simple. Good. Now get all the branches to produce, produce. Produce, produce. <laughs> Was that wrong to say? No, no. Once you know this one with your eyes shut, come the next one. Good luck. I'll make us coffee. Wait, before you go, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Ask away. Why did you take me as your apprentice? What about Ivy? Mm -hmm. You were hard, Noel, and you're honest. Those are some conclusions to draw after meeting me once. Mm, shut up. <laughs> you was on time, and you worked with the ass from your work. So I saw you were reliable, not a slacker. But Ivy is a million times better than me. You saw her snowflakes yourself. Yeah, she better. <laughs> her snowflakes are, was so beautiful, my eyes popped out of my head. Exactly. She's really passionate about this, too. You should... But so what? Uh... What does it matter if it's gorgeous, if it's not on time? Damn. No one will see it then. I mean, she's not always late. Sometimes she just gets really inspired and forgets the time. I don't need an apprentice that follows her inspiration down a cliff. Normal mm -hmm. ugly snowflakes are fine, too. <laughs> it all looks the same on the ground anyway. <laughs> Okay. It's pretty based. Beauty has time and place. That is not the place. This is not the place. Mm. Make snowflakes, Noel. Both clouds must be filled this week. Master Utilanen goes to brew some coffee. Noel watches her ugly snowflakes fall from the tree. She's not sure what to think of it all. A few hours later, Master is observing Noel's snowflakes. The cloud is still rather slim, but has the makings of a mighty... What? Cumulus? Mighty. Cumulus, yeah. Cumulus? So, how are they? Noelle is feeling a little hopeful. These are her best snowflakes yet. Ah. Low average. Noelle is no longer hopeful. <laughs> Damn, does she suck that bad, bro? <laughs> she sucks, yep. dude. <laughs> <sighs> I should have known. No good, huh? I didn't say no good. I said below average. Oh, no good. No good Noelle. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Passable, passable snowflakes. Will it really be okay to send over snowflakes like these? Of course. Only special occasions need beautiful snow. First snow, New Year's, weddings. People notice that. But regular snow, no one else cares. They only care it's there. Being a snowflake maker is less gra glamorous than I thought. Only glamorous for grand snowflake masters. Now that you know what it is, still want to be a prince? Of course. If you'll still have me, that is. It's no flicks of crap, but you are fast. Wiggle to my show. Oh, shit. <laughs> BRB, Thank guys. You. Thank you. I wonder if Ivy's gonna get a little redemption. 
Cause, uh, cause, uh, in the game, in game, Noelle still likes, uh, like, she's still defending her, you know? Mm hmm Would you still be defending? I mean, she's not necessary. I mean, I guess she is defending, but she's kind of just, like, stating facts, you know? Like, she is objectively better than Noelle, um, but, and, I mean, and she does have her doubts. Like, she, she does not understand why, like, she was chosen over someone as good as Ivy. Yeah. But, like, I wouldn't think that she's, like, really defending her, you know? That makes sense. I feel so bad for her, yeah, though, but... like, like, uh, like, she knows she's shit, she's fucking poor. I know. Like, Dude, she's, uh, she's you know what, I... just for being an what You about? know what sucks, kind of? Uh, I didn't tip the guy. You didn't tip So him? now I'm a bit, nah, but so now I'm a bit scared. He took a fat minute with my pizza. So, like, what if he put his balls on my pizza? <laughs> he spit that shit, Bill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? He, he, he saw a zero dollar tip, he was like, alright, I'm rubbing some, uh, some... Fucking litter on here, some trash. Yeah, no, but like the thing is, right? He took like a fat minute longer, and he the way he knocked on my door, I, I couldn't tell it's if he's trying to get this shit over with, or he if he's like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? It, it he he had a devious look on his eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he farted on your food, bread's over. <laughs> yeah, I might just like, I don't know, bro. One more thing needs to be done. Legal stuff. You need a license. Clear the test. Didn't get paid for cloud field. All right, let's see that test then. They walk over to another large snowflake tree. The design on it is more extravagant, and next to it is an even more extravagant one. You've already shown that you can make low tier snowflakes, and now you can also make two kinds, and you're high out here. Oh shit, I don't think she could do it. They're kind of complicated. Bare minimum requirement. These do not take off. Master Utilainen conjures up a few snowflakes from both trees. See, no problem. Try yourself. Oh no. Noelle tries the less complicated, but still plenty complicated one. Out comes something. It's snowflake, but it doesn't look anything close to the example design. Rejected. Try more. And she does, but it just doesn't click for her. No, Noelle. Oh! Bro, no good, no well. Oh, you have to lock in. You gotta lock in. Hmm. Perhaps you're tired. It's the first day ever. And you feel it half cloud. Go to rest. We try this again tomorrow. Oh, Noel, you gotta lock in. What happens if I can't make these snowflakes? <gasps> can't hide you. Noel's shoulders hunch a little. Then we practice more. But we always will either. Wait. But I want to grant you a license so I can pay you also. Oh, so she can't get paid until she could, uh, does that. Mm -hmm. But she could still See, be his He's good. He's, like, trying to help her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he can still train her. She just can't get paid for it. Isn't it fine if I just make the easy snowflakes? I can't pay you if you don't have a license. Then you're a princess only. Got it. Mm, you gotta lock in. You gotta make that money. Rest in the well. Tomorrow we try again. Thank you. I'll be here first thing in the morning. As is correct. Good night. Good night. This isn't going to work. Noelle already knows it. No! Those two snowflake designs are too complicated for her. She'd need to practice... Oh, uh, she'd need to practice who knows how long to get them right. The problem is, she can't afford to do that. The only reason she could accept this apprenticeship was due to the promise of getting paid for her work. Is it back to delivering ads and scraping by for me? I knew this was good, too good to be true. I even hurt Ivy to do this. Oh. She didn't hurt her. The bitch hurt herself. <laughs> I should apologize. Maybe she has cooled down by now. <sighs> what do you guys think is gonna happen? She's a bitch. What? Ivy's a bitch. You know, I hope Ivy has, you know, calmed down and is willing to help her, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like realistically, Noelle really can't do it on her own. Mm -hmm. Like, she's gonna need help. Yeah. No, let's be honest. Ivy is a bad person. She's been fucking up Noelle the whole time. Oh, you think she was sabotaging her from the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's possible too. Okay. Uh, huh. It's an evil world we live in. It's an evil world we live in. Also, right here, Ivy's father opens the door, but he doesn't invite her in. That is... Ooh, that is crazy. Yeah, they were literally... She was a DEI friend, you know what I'm saying? She was, like, hired... DEI just to, friend. <laughs> just to make... Yeah, she was a friend just to make... Uh, what's her face? Just to make... um, 
Ivy look better. Just to make it look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.